Namaste guys. In this video, we are going to learn how to make this animation in Blender. So let's start. So I will press A, X and delete. Press 7 on numpad. Click on add, mesh and click on slender. So this is slender. Press S, Z, 2. So I am scaling it along Z axis. Press Ctrl A and apply scale. Now right click on it. Click on shade smooth. Click on here and normals, click on auto smooth, press 7 on numpad, select this, go here, modifier, use array, let's make it 2 and let's make it 5. Now apply one more array modifier, this time it is number of fit type is 5 and make it along y axis 2, just to know it is relative. Now what I will do, I will apply these two modifier. And I will add a cylinder. I'm oh, sorry, add a sphere. So let's G Z uh, five G Z five, and I will press G X seven point five G Y seven point five. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want that all these track it. So how should I do that? So before I move forward, what we have to do is let's hide the sphere for a second. Select this, press tab, make sure all of them are selected. Just in case if all of them are not selected, press A in edit mode. Press P, click on by loose parts. Press tab. So you notice now they all become individual parts, but they have an issue. Let me show you what is the issue. So I will go to the sphere, click on here, and go to the constraints, stamp track, track this one. Notice this is giving a weird output. Okay, the reason is that its center of origin is basically at here, and I want exactly in inside of it that place. So what I can do is let's close this. Let's hide this or oh, you know just press A to select all of them. Click on object, set origin, origin to geometry. Now notice they all at the center of it and it is basically what I want. Now what I will do, I will select this, damn track, select this sphere, I think negative Y, oh yeah negative Z axis is the right one. Now I want to apply this constraint to all of them. So how should I do that? One way is that like an idiot I will select all of them and apply the constraint but we are lazy guys we don't do that. So what I will do I will press shift select these two after that I will press ctrl i and end the end by pressing shift select the select this one. I will go to the object uh, click on constraints add constraints uh, copy constraint sorry copy constraint to selected objects. Now, if I you know move this wall, notice I am getting a pretty cool animation. So it's quite simple, uh, nothing you know complicated. And yeah, that's for all. I'm very bad at you know rendering and color texturing, so I will not going to teach you. So that's the main aim is just to teach you how to do animation or do this simple thing. So I am pressing G and just you know animating it. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you have any kind of doubts and queries, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.